Hey YouTube, it's Demetri and today we're going to talk a little bit about the depth of the quant community which is really starting to come to light here as I've been planning out the quaint quant conference here in Dallas, Fort Worth area. So we have this conference coming up. I have an amazing lineup of speakers like you're talking speakers that are going to be at, you know, a bunch of big name conferences in New York City. Uh, some of these speakers, again, I was just messaging some of them. They're off presenting at presentations, conferences through Southeast Asia. Uh, we're talking global names here. And as I'm starting to go through, I'm like, all right, I need to invite my LinkedIn contacts in the DFW area. And as I'm going through this, it is just surprising to me the number of firms that have quants working at them in DFW. So in my head, right, I start to go through like, no, many of you probably do this, right? You work somewhere for a while, it might be five years, 10 years, something, and you're like, I want to do something different. I want a new opportunity. Or maybe your job's just not what it used to be. I mean, I left Santander because the vibes changed, the culture shifted, um, the company goals, the alignments no longer aligned with me. It just wasn't who I was anymore. I needed to find something different to do. And so when I did this, right, I'm thinking in my head, where do I go? You know, I already worked at Comerica Bank. I could go back there. I have good relationships with the bank. I enjoyed the people. I enjoyed the environment. There's a lot of things that draw me back to looking at that. But then I also think about, you know, who has open positions as well. And that's always an issue because even if you're like, I want to go back to a specific firm or I want to go to a firm that you're targeting, they're not going to have necessarily the position open at your level. And then you're like, you don't want to come in low because now you're going to have to rework your way up. It's a whole thing. And as I go back through this in my head, I'm like, okay, we've got Comerica, we've got Goldman Sachs, uh, we have Wells Fargo, I think has some here. Not really quant positions, but they have a offices here. You could probably work something in there. Um, of course, Citibank is huge, DTCC. I work on the auto side of the quant space. So then in my head, I start bringing up like General Motors, um, Toyota. Uh, there are some other smaller fintech startups. And as I looked for a job after I was leaving the banking industry back in 2022, um, I just posted a video. I didn't want to work at that point. Agora Data came up and I, somebody I knew, a good contact, a friend of mine was working there and it was like, hey, come reach out to Agora Data. I've already talked to my boss, who's the chief technology officer. Come look at Agora Data. And in my head, I'm like, who the hell is Agora Data? Right? I've never heard of this firm. It looks tiny. I don't know if I want to get into the startup space here. And to my surprise, it's been a great opportunity, right? Looking through the opportunity, looking through the skill sets, um, the head of quantitative risk and research at Agora Data, right? Everything seemed to link up in that. And I look at this scenario as like a rare event, right? And then as I'm going back to this conference invitation here, I'm trying to invite people on LinkedIn in the DFW area that are first connections to me. So I'm going through like, oh, I worked with you at this firm or I met you at a different conference. And of course, all these people I'm like, oh, I know you from City. I know you from Santander. I know you from Comerica. I know you, you know, from Banco ZK. Um, and I'm going through the list and I'm like, all these people now work at firms I have never heard of. There are investment firms in Dallas I've never heard of. There are technology and consulting firms I've never heard of. Uh, there are you know, just smaller financial institutions and banks I've never heard of. And so it's just, you know, kind of eye-opening into this process here. And I kind of want to shed some light on this of, I just don't know what I don't know. And I think most of the quant community doesn't know it, right? Especially when you're in grad school and even like industry practitioners, right? You know, like the big five or the big 10 or whatever the names are. And you tend to focus on that here. Um, but I think, so you'll see, I'll give a keynote speech at the end of the Quaint Quant Conference um, here in Dallas at UTD on April 18th. Um, but we'll, I'll be talking about how do we build a better quantitative finance community because I feel like we have this huge market as I'm going through my contacts, like just my first connection contacts and realizing the depth of the market, the job market here in Dallas. Um, and I'm amazed. And I think this is going to be part of these keynote speeches talking about how do we build that better community? How do you find more opportunities, right? I often feel like I am isolated in these are my options. I have nowhere to go. And I never remember like, who's my contact? Um, so I would encourage many of you guys to start actually looking through your contacts by the city that you want to work in and go and look and see where people work at. It is pretty impressive here. Now I'll do a little plug here at the end of, uh, like why you should come to the Quaint Quant Conference. And that's really to network and meet these people and have those discussions 
with your network and more specifically network and build out your network to look for other job opportunities, um, to build, you know, good hiring pipelines. Like even myself, like I'm not looking to leave Agora data anytime soon, but often I'm like, Oh, I just, I need an expert that does something specific. And then it slips my mind who I even know. And then I start to go through this and I had a recruiter bring me someone that I'd worked with for five years and has been a great fit. And so I would encourage you guys to come to the conference if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, especially if you're not in the Dallas-Fort Worth area as well, build out your network. But especially if you're wanting to work here or you are here, um, build the network of quants around you. You will be shocked and amazed at the number of firms that actually hire quants in this space here. I mean, DTCC, for example, right? It was never on my radar. And then one colleague went there and then two or three colleagues went there and then I went to a presentation and somebody mentioned they worked there and they knew somebody that I knew there. I had no idea they even existed until, I don't know, probably five, 10 years ago, which I know it's been a long time, but I didn't, it'd been a few years of like never realizing that was even an option until I went through graduate school. I came to Dallas. I had worked here for a while and I think it was like two or three years in, all of a sudden people started going that direction and you realize these firms are there here. So I would highly recommend you guys come to the conference, at least just for the networking piece here. Um, as I'm messaging people, yes, I am typing these out and sending out messages to people. I am getting some great responses of people that are going to be coming to the conference that do not work at just like the big name firms. Now, of course, I do have people coming from the big name banks and firms here, which is awesome. It's a great networking opportunity in that. But I would encourage you guys to come as well to help build out your network here, kind of highlight some of these smaller firms that you maybe have never heard of. Um, so when you come to the conference, I would encourage you guys to actually ask people like, what do you do and where do you work? I think a lot of you will be quite surprised um, like there are a lot of data scientists, I'm going to put in air quotes here, but they're doing financial modeling, right? It's quantitative work um, in different firms. But again, different industries, different companies might label them as different terms, but you might realize there are a lot more companies here that you could look at, you can build out your network for. And this would be a great opportunity to do that face-to-face, -face, which is much, much easier, trust me, than cold calling or cold emailing or LinkedIn messaging people. So Anyways, the takeaway from this video I really want you guys to realize is the quant community is much deeper than probably most of us realize, including myself. Um, I'm not really realizing that until now as I'm starting to dig further and further into my contact lists. I would encourage you guys, one, to go dig through your contact lists, look and see where your first connections in your city that you want to work in or you live in, um, where they work. You will be surprised. Trust me. It, it, it surprised me at least with the amount of other companies that I just didn't think people would work at. And two, I would encourage you guys to come to the Quaint Quant Conference here um, April 18th because I think it'll be a great opportunity to kind of build out your network, build a better safety net, build another a better career for yourself, right? Opening opportunities and also bringing in good hires if you're going to be on the hiring side of this as well. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time. Thanks.